everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have a update for you and an update grammar Jessica. Um, this is the girls night in. This is a project that I've been doing with my bestie Amanda for a few years now and we do a different genre every year. Um, this is movie titles and we pick a product to go with each movie title and we always theme it based on whatever decade or genre we choose. And we will pick a movie that has a number in it. And that number is what tells us how many products and movies that we have to pick for that year. This year it is 10 Things I Hate About You. Yes, it's the 90s. And um, so we have 10 products that we're working on for 10 different movies. Um, this started January 24th. It will go till January 24th of next year. And on January 24th, we will do the finale and we will present next year's theme and go right into it because, you know, that's what we do. Um, so I had, as of the last update, which was a while ago, it was a while ago, um, I had two of the 10 done. I had Office Space, which is one of my favorite movies. Um, I had the CoverGirl Outlast top coat. If you're familiar with the movie, um, you know, there's this thing about cover sheets on the TPS reports. So cover girl, cover sheet. That's what I went for. Um, finish that and for the mask, somebody stop me. I had a pure clay mattifying mask from L'Oreal. It was green, which was appropriate for the movie The Mask. Um, and that one is done. So, do I have any empties this update? I actually do. Two of them. Um, the first one is for Face Off. I really like that movie a whole lot. Um, it is Tr John Travolta and Nick Cage, um, or Nicolas Cage. And um, it's... It's a different kind of movie, but I like it. I like that um, like that crime drama kind of stuff. Action, crime, thrillers. So for that, I chose something that helps me take my face off at the end of the night, and that is the Equate Beauty Eye Makeup Remover. This one was oil-free. It is like a dupe of one of the Neutrogena ones. I did really enjoy it. It's very inexpensive, and um, it, it, it works. It really worked for me. However... This is the last makeup remover that I have in my collection and I will not be replacing it because I use um, like the mi microfiber cloths now and um, yeah, I just don't feel like I need to have like the plastic and the chemicals and everything else and spend the money when I can just um, use my microfiber cloth and some water and it does the same thing for me. So. Um, while I did enjoy that product very much, I just don't feel like I need it in my collection anymore because I am trying to reduce the amount of um, products that I have. I am trying to find multitasking things, anything that's um, renewable, reusable, or whatever. Definitely going that option. And um, I feel like I'm slowly starting to do my part to, to help make the environment a little bit better. Got a long way to go, but every little... Every little thing that you can do, every change that you can make, definitely helps. All right, long-winded what? Long-winded way to say not buying that anymore. All right, the other one is for the Crow. I have loved this movie since it first came out. Brandon Lee. Need I say more? Um, in the movie, it really was a good movie. Very bittersweet. Um, in that movie, there is a song and um, a phrase that comes up throughout that it can't rain all the time so I chose the rain bath by Neutrogena it's a shower gel this one just happens to be an ocean mist scent smelled really good I enjoyed it but um don't need to repurchase it I got tons of soaps and shower gels still in my bathroom and in my linen closet and taking over the world so yeah did enjoy it though all right let's get into what is rolling over the first one is this project's namesake, 10 Things I Hate About You, because I really do love that movie. I own it. Um, I, like, I own all of these movies. I have a lot of DVDs, but um, on with it. So 10 Things I Hate About You, this is Formula 10 Hurry Up. It's a nail glue dryer. It will also dry nail polish. 
I only use it on nail polish that's really stubborn and um, gets like those dents and stuff in it. Um, this was 83 grams last update. It is currently at 77 grams. There is, there's definitely still some in there. I, I would say at least a half a dozen to a dozen uses left because you don't need much. Works really well. Stinks something awful. It, it, it literally smells like petroleum when you're spraying it on you, but it does work. And it is a professional product, so, you know, it better work. Um, all right, moving on. Clueless. Love that movie. I have seen it hundreds of times. Um, I chose Bare Minerals Riches. If you've seen the movie, you know why. Um, I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it at all. I'm working on other blushes, so it's on the back burner. If I don't get to it, I just don't, I don't get to it. I am at that point right now that um, I'm not sweating the small stuff. <laughs> not after this year, we've all been having. No need to sweat the small stuff. All right, moving on to Galaxy Quest. One of my favorites. My kids absolutely love this movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, it is hysterical. Um, I chose Alien. I do not try. Please don't make me say the name of um, the person that makes this because I can never say his name. It's Terry. I can't pronounce his last name. Um, all of my French people are probably going to be like, it's really easy, but I can't. I can't do it. it my, my mouth doesn't work that way. I haven't used this since the last update. I love this so, so much, but I don't know what it is about the scent. It just makes me feel like winter and, um, you know, the temperatures are slowly starting to change here. So I have a feeling I will be wearing it more frequently as it gets cooler. Don't ask me why it's a winter, like a, a mid to late fall winter scent for me. It just is. I just, it's a feeling. So maybe, maybe by next update, I will have, um, some progress for you. All right. Let's get on with it, Jess. Pretty Woman. Yeah, it's a great movie. Um, this is in honor or homage to the scene when they're in the hotel and they're eating strawberries and drinking champagne. This is Becca Champagne Pop. I have not drawn the line on here because I really want it to finish settling. Um, it takes a while for this thing to settle. But you can see there's still product here on the back, even though there's a nice window here. So once that settles, I will mark it. I feel like I'm making some progress on this. I do not know that I can finish it by the end. I'm not, I'm not dedicated to this as I should be. Maybe if I start being more dedicated to it that I will um, get it done, but I, I forget about it and um, I'm gonna set it over here and I'm gonna put it in my weekly makeup basket. That's like my answer to everything. Just put it in the weekly makeup basket so I'll remember it. Because if it's not in there, I forget about it and I have hair on me um all right moving on to groundhog day yes i feel like i've been living in that lately um i chose the mally ever color automatic eyeliner in onyx the reason i chose this is because it's a black eyeliner and when i'm done with this black eyeliner i have got like 37 other black eyeliners to take its place and i feel like black eyeliners are nothing but groundhog's day for me i will show you the product that is left in here it's still a lot it had a ton of product to start with because it was brand new. And then let me show you my progress lines. You can see where I started and all the progress lines. I was here last time and now I'm at this blue line. I am making some progress, but this is not my priority. I have a gel eyeliner that's in a project that ends sooner. So I have been prioritizing that. So, you know, you know how that goes. Um, all right, the last one, Never Been Kissed. Such a cute movie um, in that Josie, Josie Grossi, um, kind of reverses time and um, goes back to high school, even though she's an adult, because she's kind of like an undercover reporter. So I chose a product that literally says age reverse. Um, this is Exuviance. It is a hand peel. I actually used it this time. Not a lot, but I used it. Um, I don't know why. I put my lines on different sides, maybe because, you know... I'm crazy, but it has gone down a little. This is where I was before. I need to like mark it on the other side and this is where I am now. I, it would be just below this line. This was my previous line, if I can hold it straight. So it is just below that. And um, this one, I actually have a line on it now. It was like up in here before. So not great progress on that, but, but I used it. I used it, pat on the back. I feel, I 
feel proud of myself that I finally used it. So, um, yeah, hopefully now that it's starting to get cooler, I am definitely more into, um, like lotions and stuff like that. So hopefully, hopefully I will be more dedicated to getting that done as well. Um, I don't know if I will have anything done by the next update. The, the only thing that I have half a chance of finishing is the, the nail dryer. Maybe we'll see, depending on what nail polishes I use. Everything else, I am just hoping to have some progress on. I put a lot of very time-consuming, diff difficult products in here. And um, again, I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. If I finish stuff, cool. If I don't, that's just the way it goes. I'm not going to waste product just to say I finished it up. Um, I want it to happen kind of organically. So, I mean, I will use the products, but... Um, like I'm not going to use the the nail dryer if my nails don't need it and you know I'm not going to use the peel if my hand my hands don't need it. So um, I think y'all know what I'm saying Hoping for some progress, but yeah, I'm not beating myself up over anything this year No, I'm not all right. I am going to wrap this up I will have Amanda's info down below. She is still on hiatus not doing videos right now because she's just taking care of some stuff in her life and um I don't know if she's going to uh, update on Instagram or not. I'm probably not, but you know, check her out anyway. She might post on there. I know she does post some of her updates on there, so we shall see. All right, wrapping it up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.